With your permission, I I uh, was thinking to read today something which is not very often read. It is the introduction to the Vilapakusa Manchali, where Baba is very wonderfully explaining uh, the subject matter and very nicely is explaining the essence of Raganuga Bhakti and the essence of Manchari Bhav. I am sure not many know this introduction. It's very wonderful. If you permit, I can read. No, very nice. So the first part of the introduction Baba called subject to be ascertained. So about what is this book? So Baba is writing. The name of Srila Raguna Das Goswami, who is one of the six Goswami Acharyas, who are the most excellent, dear most associates of Sri Chaitanya, the incarnation who sanctifies the current age of Kali is world famous. His renunciation, this passion, fixation in worship, devotional eagerness are established as the greatest examples of loving devotion and they eternally attract the faith of the sadakas of Raga Marga. This Vilapa Kusumanchali is one of the hymns of the collections of hymns called Stavavali, which was composed by Srila Raghunath Das Goswami. In this book, he picked flowers of lamentation from the grove of his heart, which was filled with feelings of divine separation, which he then sprinkled with his own tears and offered them to the lotus feet of his most beloved deity, Srimati Ratharani. Deeply absorbed in his avesh of his spiritual body, Sri Padraguna Das Goswami lamented eagerly for the direct vision of service to Srimati Radhika like a young maidservant who feels intense separation from the mistress of her life. This is Vilapa Kusumanchali. Such humble prayers so full of deep yearning and intensely searching feelings of separation are rare indeed within all Sanskrit literature. Newer and newer waves of desire surged within the river of Goswami Pat's heart. He could not tolerate the pain of separation from Swamini for even a moment. The more the time of his passing away approached, the more eager he became for Sri Radhika's direct vision and service, like a greatly loving maidservant. Every day, his heart was burning in the forest fire of great separation from Sri Radha. 
his lamentations of separation were like an intensely mounting flame that is belched out within this Vilapa Kusumanchali. All the aspirations for Srimati Radhika's loving service as a maidservant that awoke within Sripad's heart. The variety, wonderfulness, excellence, expertise, eager prayer, Sri Radha's beauty, sweetness, love, and passion, her service to Sri Krishna, and her eagerness to attain Sri Krishna, cannot, can all be ascertained and witnessed within this beautiful hymn. By hearing of this, glorifying this, and meditating on this, the heart and mind of any sensitive devotee will be immersed in feelings of service to Sri Radha and will become eager and anxious to attain the service of Sri Radha's lotus feet. Of this, there is no doubt. So this was the, in the subject to be a certain. Now Baba is going into Raganuga Bhakti. Yeah. Gaudiya Vaishnavas take shelter of the mode of worship called Raganuga Bhakti. Devotion in the wake of divine passion. Devotion following the wake of Prachas Ragatmika devotion is called Raganuga Bhakti. Shilarupa Goswami writes this in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu 1 2 271. In order to understand Ragatmika, or Raganuga Bhakti, we must first of all understand the meaning of Raga. This deep, natural, loving thirst which causes the topmost absorption within the beloved deity is called translating. Hello. Yes. Me. Yes. In order to understand Ragatmika or Raganuga Bhakti, we must first understand the meaning of the word Raga. That deep, natural, loving thirst which causes the topmost absorption within the beloved deity is called Raga. Ishtegada Drishna Raga Swarupa Lakshan Ishte Avishtata Tatashta Lakshan Katana. Deep thirst for the beloved deity is the inherent symptom of Raga, 
whereas the absorption in that beloved deity is called the marginal symptom. Again, so Jiva, yes. Again. Deep thirst for the beloved deity is the inner symptom of raga, wow. whereas the absorption in the beloved deity is called the marginal symptom. Again. Deep thirst for the beloved deity is the Expanded. inherent inner symptom of raga, whereas the absorption in the beloved deity is called the marginal symptom. He explained it. He says that actually the most driving force, the most inner force of raga is lopa, is the deep thirst for the beloved deity. This is the innermost symptom of raga. And from this comes the marginal symptom that we are absorbed in this uh, beloved deity. Without the lopa, without this deep thirst, there cannot be an absorption. Silajiva Goswami has defined Raga Please? Now what is the What is absorption? What is absorption? How to uh, Yeah Buddha is there Tarun is asking from you what is the meaning of absorption here? B but Gurudev knows much better than me. No, please, I man, you are doing nice. Please. Absorption means to be complex. Like Gurudev always is saying absorption means to be completely fixed in a khanda bath. That we all our meditation. All our visioning, all our viewing, all our inner life should be focused on our beloved deity. Absorption can only be there if we are focused in Ekanda Bhav. If we are not going here and there and everywhere, we should be focused on one Ishtadev. And for us, Manchari Bhav, Sadakas, that Ishtadev is Radhika. So what means absorption? Absorption means to meditate in our Swarupa wish, according to our mood of our Guru Manjari, following the inhabitants of Brindavan here, our Guru Manjari is one of these uh, inhabitants of Brindavan. Our absorption should be focused entirely in Manjari Bhav and in the service to our Ishtadev, to Radhika. Is this okay? Yeah, it's uh, good. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> but you know, you know much better, Gurudev, than than me. Uh, yes, very nice. Yes. Sri Jiva Goswami has defined raga and raga nuga as follows: Bhakti Sandarbha, three hundred and ten. Raga means the strong and natural desire of a sense enjoyer for his beloved sense objects. You always say this, Gurudev. We should be so much attracted to Raga Nuga Bhakti like someone who is attracted to the sense objects. You said this so many times. The senses, Jiva Goswami is saying, the senses like the eyes are naturally attracted to their objects, such as beautiful forms. And they need no encouragement in this. In the same way, 
when a devotee's heart is naturally attracted to the Lord and he has a deep thirst for the Lord, then this is called Raga. When a mere ray of the nectar moon of such Raga is very beautiful, falls on the crystal clear hearts of those devotees. And now comes a very, very important point. Who only have some little taste for a particular Raga, but do not possess that full Raga itself yet. Then the heart rejoices, is very happy. And as a result of hearing from the Shastras and Saints, taste will awaken within the heart of such a devotee for the devotional expertise of Rakatmika Bhakta. This is a very, very wonderful point. Explain more details. Here, Jiva Goswami is saying that when the mere ray of such a very, very powerful raga coming from a ragatmika devotee, from eternally perfect soul, when such a small little ray finds its way into the heart of a practicing devotee, who has only, and this is very beautiful because I can only speak for me, I don't have much taste, but Shiva Goswami says, when we have the possibility and the opportunity to receive such a beautiful ray, like hearing from you, Gurdiv, hearing from Baba, and such a beautiful ray enters our heart, although we have not much taste, that will result that we will develop. Because of this, yeah. we will develop this taste very wonderfully. Even if we have not the full raga yet. Yeah. I, I find it so wonderful because it gives such great hope. Yeah. Beautiful. Only a small ray of this raga, like you have Gurudev and like Baba has, and all the accomplished saints and sadhus, can enter into our heart when we are eager to have this. So I like this very, very much. Very good. Underline. Which book is this? This is the introduction to Vilabhakusa Manchali. Before, before verse 1, Baba wrote this introduction, but it was not in the first editions. Only in the second and third edition of Vilabhakusa Manchali, he placed it in the beginning. This is the beginning, introduction. Very beautiful. Jiva Goswami is going on. This means that Ruchi, taste, will awaken within the heart when we hear about the loving devotional expertise of a Ragatmika Braja Bhakta. For us, this means from Radhika and the Mancharis, from the scriptures or from the mouth of a saint whose heart is pure, that is, free from lust, anger, and envy. The devotion which follows this raga of a particular ragatmika bracha devotee, for us Rupa Manjari, for example, along with Ruchi, is called raganuka bhakti. 
Now, Baba is making a very, very wonderful po point. Hardly anyone has such ruchi in the first stage of devotional life. But still, when one hears about the loving activities of the people of Braja from the mouth of a pure soul who performs Bhajan by following the scriptural injunctions and who has thus become immersed in the pure raga of Braja. Now this is very nice. Sacred creed, Lopa, will awaken in the heart of the neophyte devotee to attain such love also. This is called Raganuga Bhajan. Of the different kinds of sweet love of Vrindavan's consorts, Sriman Mahaprabhu and his dear associates, the Goswamis, have especially instructed us in the most excellent worship, following the mancharis like Sri Ratharani's dear maidservant, Sri Rupa Manjari. So here we see the, the essence of Raganuga Bhakti. This Vilapa Kusumanjali of Sri Madas Goswami's part is filled with this sweet flavor of Manjari Bhav. This was the second part of the introduction. Now comes the third part. Baba is now explaining Manjari Bhav practice. Shall I go on? You want to say something, Gurudev? <coughs> when, but please, whenever you feel to say something, please say something, Gurudev. Sometimes I want to clear how to go inside. So when I will ask, then you explain it. Okay. Yeah. So now Baba is making a point, Manjari Bhav practice. Manjari Bhav Sadhana, the spiritual practice in the mood of a maidservant of Srimati Radhika, is the unique gift of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to the fallen souls of this age of Kali, quarrel. And it has been preached and spread particularly by his dearest associates, Sri Sri Rupa and Raghunath Das Goswami. There are two kinds of Madhura Rati, conjugal mellows in Brindavan, in Bracha. One, Sambo Gechatmika, the mood of an amorous heroine who enjoys with the Lord. And two, this is us, Tat Bhavej Chatmika, the mood of an amorous accomplice. In Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, Srila Rupa Goswami says, Tat Bhave Chatmika Tasam Bhava Madhurya Kamita. This is our mood, the devotional attitude of wanting to assist Sri Rathas and other Yuteshwaris in meeting Sri Krishna and enjoying amorous pastimes with him and to relish the sweetness of these pastimes rather 
than to enjoy with Krishna personally is called Tat Pavev Tatmika. Again. Yes. Again, I Yes, the devotional attitude of wanting only to assist Sri Radha in meeting Sri Krishna and enjoying pastimes with him and to relish the sweetness of these pastimes rather than to enjoy with Krishna personally, like the Sakis, is called Tat Bhave Chatmika. No, it's not again. Again, clearly. The devotional attitude of wanting to assist Sri Rata in meeting Sri Krishna mm. and enjoying pastimes with him, so that Radhika can enjoy in pastimes with him, and to relish, only to relish the sweetness of these pastimes. Now comes the important point. Rather than to enjoying amorous pastimes with Krishna personally, so they only want to help and they want to assist, they don't want to enjoy personally. This is called Tat Pavesh Chatmika. Mm -hmm. This attitude of the Manjaris attracts the hero and the heroine and awakens a causeless, completely sincere and unlimited love for them. Indeed, the heroine here, Radhika, becomes dearer to such a devotee than his own life heirs or even self, the self. Shirata has five kinds of girlfriends. Sakis are, for instance, Tanishta and Vindya, who are Krishna Snehadika. They love Krishna more than Rata. Priya Sakis and Parama Prashta Sakis are Kurangakshi and the eight chief Sakis, such as Lalita and Vishaka. They are Samsneha, having the same love for Rata and Krishna equally. And now comes our category. And the Prana Sakis and the Nitya Sakis, those are the Manjaris, Akasturi, Mani Manjaris, and others, who are Rata Snehadika. They love Rata more than Krishna. They are called Mancharis. Their bodies consist of nothing but devotional service. And although they are technically in the class of Sakis, they are mostly surrendered to assisting the intimate Nikuncha pastimes of Sri Sri Radha Mohan due to their beautiful fixation in service attitude. The sweet, relishable Raghunuga Bhajan of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas consists only of allegiance to them, the Rata Snehadika Mandaris. Now Baba is quoting a very wonderful song. Uh, uh, yes. Shri Rupa Manjari Ara, Shri Rati Manchari Sara. Lavanga Manchari Manchulali, Sri Rasa Manjari Sange, Kasturika Adirange, Prema Seva, Kore Kutu Holi. I think this is from Narutam Das Thakur. Blissfully render 
loving devotional service with Sri Rupa Manjari, Sri Rati Manjari, Lavanga Manjari, Manchula Manjari, Sri Rasa Manjari, Kasturika, and others. Esabhara Anuka Hoya, Brema Seva, Nibojoya, Inkite Puchipo Sabkaja, Rupe Kune Taka Maki, Sada Hobo Anuraki, Vasadi Koribo Sakira Macha. I will follow in their footsteps and render loving devotional service. Simply on their hints, I will understand what is my duty. Can you say something about this, Gurudev? Simply on their hints. This means by telepathy, right? Mm -hmm. Right. I will always be passionately absorbed in Radha and Krishna's forms and qualities while I reside amongst the girlfriends. Vrindavani, Duijana, Chaturdiki Soki Kana, Samaya Bujia Rase Suki, Sakira Inki Tahobe, Jhamara Dulabo Kobe, Tambula Yogabo Jandamuke. Yeah. When Radha and Krishna are enjoying in Braja, surrounded by their girlfriends, I will understand the time for service in bliss. When will I get a hint from these girlfriends to wave a whisk fan and place bitter leaves in their moon-like faces. Like, you call a, like a, I see some sweating and they do like this. They will not say to us that put some fan. I can feel they're feeling hot and we have to fan. Means they have to understand. They they come and they become little tired to circumstances. Then I cannot milk bring the milk to them. I have to make milk bring cold water. That to understand. They will not say I want some water to drink. To know that what they need now is a oneness. That's it. That's it. I, I can feel what you want. That is nonsense. And Pinkery, Mandiri has, they say sometimes with this way, and Kinkari don't need to say. They feel everything what they are fun thinking inside. They are kinkies. No. Yeah. Beautiful. Yugala Charana Sevi Nirantara E Bhavi Anuragi Rohi Bosadaya. So, oh, this is this. This is the one. This is where one of the most. This is Prema Bhakti Chantrika actually. Satane bhavi bo jaha sitha dehe. Raga patera e se upaya. I constantly think of the service to their lotus feet. And I will always stay there in great devotional attachment. Now comes this very, very famous line. Whatever I think during my spiritual practice, sadhana, 
I will attain in my Sita Deha. Yeah. These are the ways of the path of Raga. Now Baba is explaining this. Very, this is very beautiful. I love it so much. After taking shelter of the lotus feet of Sri Guru, Gaudiya Vaishnava practitioners get acquainted with their own manjari or sita deha in the process called Sri Guru Sita Pranali. In the opinion of Srila Jiva Guzman, this Siddha body is one of the countless spiritual bodies present in the spiritual sky that are exactly suitable for serving Krishna. On the strength of meditation and deep bhajan, Sri Gurudev knows exactly which one of those citadias will be accepted by the Lord. And he points out that body, in our case, our Manjari Deha, to the Sadaka. This is not, Baba is now going heavy, this is not anyone's speculation. To consider the Siddha Deha of the Sadaka, which automatically arises within the pure heart of Sri Gurudev, who is the compact embodiment of the Lord's compassion, steeped in the great power and mercy of the Lord, and which spontaneously arises within his own deep meditation, one who considers this as imaginary or false is sheer atheism and greatly harmful offense to bhakti. Now, Baba is here clearly saying that the Siddha Deya is real and not imagination. The practitioner must <laughs> identify himself the practitioner must identify himself with this Sita Deha and meditate on it. Now comes a very beautiful verse from the Chaitanya Charitamrita Gurudev. Baye antara ihara dui to sadhana. Baya sadaka deha ghore shravana ketana. Mane nicha sita deha koriya bhavana. Ratri Dina Kore Bracha Grishnera Sevana. There are two kinds of spiritual practice. Okay, slowly. There are two kinds of spiritual practice external and internal. Externally, Within the Sadaka Deha, the gross physical body, one practices hearing and chanting the glories of Krishna. And internally, mentally, one meditates on one's own spiritual body, the Sita Deha, in which one serves Krishna in Braja, day and night. In the Raganuga practice of the most intimate feelings of the Manjaris, there are two flawless ways of attaining the loving service of Sri Sri Radha Mohan. One way is external. 
which means that in one's material body, one hears, chants, worships the deity, and offers prayers and so on in a way that is not unfavorable to one's own devotional feelings. The other type of practice is internal. One establishes one's self-esteem, Svarupavesh, in the spiritual body, which is revealed by Shigure Dev. And with this Siddhadeya, one meditates on the loving service in the time framework of Sri Sri Radha Mohan's eternal eightfold transcendental daily pastimes. The main internal practice of the practitioner is, according to his qualification, to mentally serve Sri Sri Radha Mohan with their girlfriends and to remember their forms, attributes, and pastimes along the way. While the sadaka remembers the forms, attributes, and pastimes of Sri Radha Mohan, and thus relishes their beautiful sweetness. Within this internal practice of recollection, he should take special care that this does not become a mechanical, duty-bound practice. He should take care that there is gradual increase of eagerness for the attainment of the direct service to the Lord, whom he meditates. A practitioner who has attained the stage of Rati will spontaneously perceive his spiritual body within himself. Very important point now. While the practitioner who did not attain Rati yet will intently perform mental service within his mentally conceived spiritual body. As the dirt of lusty material desires is removed from the Sadaka's heart through his external practice of hearing, chanting, etc., accordingly he perceives his spiritual body either instinctively, not very much, somewhat clearly, more, or very clearly, and accomplishes the beauty of his mental service. I like this very much, good. If here Baba is saying we go through these stages of when the body, the Siddhartha is revealed. Yeah. The careful practitioner gives up his identification with his mortal mundane body and its belongings and relationships. And he very much endeavors 
to firmly identify himself with his spiritual form. Such encouragements can be found also in the Shastra that were composed by the ancient sages. In Sanat Kumara Sanghita, we can read, and Sadaka should think of himself to be amongst the other gopis as an enchanting, beautiful, young adolescent female. As a female associate of Radha and Krishna's girlfriends, like Lalita and Vishaka, she is dedicated to the services which are ordered to her and she is decorated with jeweled ornaments that are given to her by Sri Radhika as her remnants. The purport of the word Chintayet here in this verse is that one should see oneself with the form and the feelings of an eternally perfect manjari. And we should really experience this. In other words, one should nourish a firm esteem of this body, this citadel, with this shape, form, and this feeling. This is really me. This is the endeavor of the fixed practitioner. But actually, the spiritual body awakens spontaneously within the heart of such a fixed practitioner who has a service attitude by the grace of the Lord. In Srimad Bhagavatam 3, 9, 11, Lord Brahma told the Supreme Lord, O Lord, you are very kind upon the devotees who are very eager to serve you. Whatever body they meditate upon, which is favorable for their service and which they desire, you bestow unto them so that you can accept the eternal service. This is actually, yeah. con yes, this is, this is Brahma telling to Krishna. Actually, it is completely the same like Narutam Thakur is saying, whatever you meditate on, you will get. So Brahma is saying, oh Lord, you are very kind upon the devotees who are eager to serve you. Whatever body they meditate upon, which is favorable for their desired service, you bestow unto them so that you can accept their eternal service. So Krishna is giving them, giving us the body we desire. When the practice reaches perfection, the practitioner is blessed with attaining his desired loving service of the divine Kabul in his spiritual body within the realm of their pastimes. Can I ask something? This um, this verse of in Prima Bhakti Chandrika, 
साधन भावे यह सिद्ध देह भावे कहा हैज अ वन पर्टिकुलर वर्ड भावी वे मीन्स भाव सो मीन्स टू कल्टिवेट द फीलिंग्स इन आवर साधन राइट फोर्ड राइट हाउ डू वी नो दैट आवर भाव इज इंक्रीजिंग इन आवर साधन My grief means um, sorry, greedy. How much I will be greedy for that? My bow is going. I have no grief. Bow is not going. My greed is growing. My bow is increasing. Now. After that, here is Maisha. That one devotee he is interested in the activities of outer activities. He can be marginal also, Baba is saying. And outer activity is the same devotee. He want to sit more and go in more bhajan to go in his sita deha and in the other seva. Same part because he is he is not interested in to be in marginal. He want to be always there. So same person now start sitting and going deep in his bhajan. For meditation of his siddh in siddh day, so he did not come in siddh day. The Karm Baba said that Baba preached. One is a marginal, and one is more fixed. <clears throat> that time we asked that there are two nature of the devotee. Right? Can you read again this? One is a marginal type, and one is a fixed. It was in the beginning. I, saw, I, I look. I look. The absorption, no? Absorption. So then, absorption. Deep. Yes, I have it. Deep thirst for the beloved deity is the inner symptom of raga, whereas the absorption. Whereas the absorption in the beloved deity is called the marginal symptom, but good if you referred you referred to some something else, Baba is saying. You referred when you yeah. say this, you go on. Then you will see that Baba, Baba is saying raga means. Uh, go on. Raga, yes, raga means the strong and natural desire. Of a sense enjoyer for his beloved sense objects, the senses, like the eyes, are naturally attracted to their objects, such as beautiful forms, and they need no encouragement in this. Yeah. In the same way, in the same way, when a devotee's heart is naturally attracted to the Lord and has deep lopa for the Lord. Then this is called raga, same, yes. Yes. but going inside. More go, go more read. Read on. Huh? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> uh, now comes this wonderful verse: When a mere ray of the nectar moon of such raga falls on the crystal clear hearts yeah. of those devotees. Who have only some taste for raga, but do not possess that full raga itself yet, then the heart will be very happy, and as a result of hearing from the scriptures and sadhus, deep taste will awaken within the heart of such devotee. Yeah. Bolgo. Again the big okay. Okay. The 
here Chiba Goswami says, Raga means, actually Raga in itself only means the strong and natural desire, like a sense enjoyer feels for his beloved sense objects. The senses, like the eyes, are naturally attracted to their objects, such as beautiful forms. And they need no, Baba is funny, they don't need encouragement for this. They do it automatically. In the same way, in the same way, when a devotee's heart is naturally attracted to the Lord, and he has thirst for the Lord, then this is called Raga. When a mere yes, yes. He's totally natural. He is not as if we fear. That I press to do that. No, it will be natural. His eyes nature to attract with the beauty. Is a nature. He has nature to listen. Is a nature. Yeah, go on. When a mere ray of the nectar moon of such raga, such deep attraction, falls on the crystal clear hearts of those devotees who only have some taste for raga, but do not possess that full raga itself yet, still the heart will be happy, and as a result of hearing from the scriptures and sadhus, taste will awaken within the heart of such a devotee. Yes, Crystal clear. Crystal clear means Suddha Chit. Suddha Chit means automatic love rise, Savanadi. Listening is important. Air has to drink. Savanadi means I use your senses. One point there. Savanadi means. All the senses has to be in one flow. Suddha chitta, Taraya Udaya. This is the Buddha means sunrise. Nitya Siddha, Krishna Prem, Padda Kabunai, Sravanadi, Suddha chitta, Suddha chitta, crystal clear. Yeah, very nice. More. Read. You will see this. This Read. means. This means that ruchi, taste, will awaken within the heart when we hear about the loving devotional expertise of a ragatmika bracha bhakta from the scriptures. One minute. Yes. Thing is one thing, but knowing the expertise is other thing. Mm -hmm. I can read, but I have not understand what they have expertise. Beautiful. I listen one time about this sweet pastime. I like it, but again we have to read. What is that expertise was there and how they become attracted so much? And that has to listen from the sadhus. Yes. And make clear crystal. Yes. What is the meaning of that expertise? Beautiful. This is only possible by Rasik, Rasik uh, Sadhus. We cannot do so this alone. They, they open expertise, things, hidden mm. things. 
what is not mentioned you cannot explain by the words no? and what is that but you like the first verse of of vilaba kunjuma kusumanjal without explanation of the rasika we will think oh why is rupa Gos or why is rupa manjari why has she been bitten by a parrot we don't know and how manjari <laughs> rupa manjari how he, he he becomes she and many things hmm. no yes these are what is Wow. When we hear about the loving devotional expertise from the scriptures or from the mouth of a saint whose heart is pure, free from lust, anger, and envy, this devotion, which follows the raga of a ragatmika, Along with Ruchi, this practice is called Raganuga Bhakti. Uh. Now Baba is giving so much hope. <laughs> Hardly anyone has such Ruchi in the first stage of devotional life. But still, when one hears about the loving activities of the people of Braja, from the mouth of a pure soul yeah, who yeah, perform your mouth of a pure like that who see that who was with with think that yeah yeah hardly anyone has such ruchi in the first stage of devotional life. But still, when one hears about, here Baba is not saying, because you don't have any taste, you can you are not allowed to hear. In the contrary, he says you have to hear. When one hears about the loving activities of the people of Brajas from the mouth of a pure soul, then it doesn't matter how far advanced you are, because the mouth of a pure soul, it will be so powerful. And a pure soul who performs bhajan while following the scriptural injunctions and who has thus become immersed in the pure raga of braja. Like you said, Gurudev, this sadhu must be completely immersed in the pure raga. Otherwise, not possible. <laughs> immersed in the pure raga of braja. Sacred creed, Lopa, will awaken in the heart of the neophyte devotee to attain yeah. such love also. This is so beautiful. Underline this. Uh, send me with underlining. Yes, I send you an underline it. And to the all who can... I send it to Kopinath, I send it to Kopinath and Kopinath can put it for everyone. Yeah, it is given rather that. Yes. Yeah. Come back, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can. Governor can add me. Okay. It's already done. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So beautiful. It, it's like when I read this the first time, good if. Without knowing you, I didn't even know you, but this was for me such a beautiful line to read because everybody was saying we cannot hear about the loving pastimes, but Baba clearly writes here clearly, no? so nice. Many are now who love to listen the loving pastimes. You see, yes, all the world is listening. Sacred creed will awaken in the heart of the neophyte. Neophyte means beginner. Are that the point? 
is a natural, mm. is not unnatural. There are more neophyte or more practical. They are there pass through practical room. They have a practical experience in material life. There are nobody is neophyte with the love deals. This is the fortune to Diva that they understand the meaning of the words. What is the taste? What is the meaning of Vati? What is the meaning of attachment? They are madly attached. Material life teaches attachment. Is all they are. We learn it. Only to change for divine. Who, who don't know this thing? It's so make the in Kaliuga Mahaprabhu make normal. It's a normal to be a normal. Why you want to be abnormal to make this normal way for us? Easy way, easiest way. Want Good if yeah. yeah. When I heard what Kopinath's question was, if I can can tell from own experience, he says, "When yeah. do we know? When do we know that uh, this greed awakens?" So I can speak from my little little experience. When I am focused in Bhajan, my taste for watching the outer forms. My taste for, you know what it means, viewing beautiful forms, going in the outside world, going into the mundane world. If I'm not focused in spiritual life, this will change. I will look more in the outside. But if I focus in Bhajan, I will not have this desire to go more in the outside world. So sometimes it is a, a coming and going, but always I want to come back to focusing in spiritual life. And the more you, I focus in the spiritual life, I am not in the outside world. But sometimes it's like that. When you are not focused, you go in the outside world. This is my experience. Yeah, so beautiful. It's like when Raghunath Swami says in Vilapu Sumanjari Tarun that I will close the door to my outside world and open the door to my inside world. <laughs> But it needs, yeah. it needs, it needs strength, and it needs, it needs fixation. It needs, uh, it has. You have to make, you have to make up your mind to close the inner door. <laughs> this is I'm the point. Bringing you there, what Baba say, even the service and activities is also outside world. Hmm. You go read. I'm telling, bringing you. I will show you. Hmm. That is so marginal. Yeah, it's also marginal. Many want to go from that to all more deep inside. So they want to see re really service in the, the mentor. Mentally, <laughs> They don't want outside activities anything. It needs the right consciousness. You all just call it the garden house. Uh -huh. Yeah. And this is called Raganuga Bhajan. Now Baba is making in. Two or three sentences, he's saying what really is the essence of Raganuga Bhakti. <laughs> of the different kinds of sweet love of Braja's consorts, Sriman Mahaprabhu and his dear associates, the Goswamis, 
have instructed us in the most excellent worship, following the manjaris, like Sri Ratharani's dear maid servant, Sri Rupa Manjari. This Vilapakusu Manjali is filled with this sweet flavor of Manjari bath. Manjari Bhav Sadhana, the spiritual practice in the mood of a maidservant of Srimati Radhika, is the unique gift of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to the fallen souls of this age of Kali. And it has been preached and spread, particularly by his dearest associates, Sri Sri Rupa and Raghunath Das Goswami. Now Baba is making these two distinctions, Sambhog, Sambhog, Ke Chatmika and Tad Bhave Chatmika. There are two kinds of Matura Rati in Bracha. One is Sambhog Ke Chatmika, the mood of an amorous heroine who wants to enjoy with Krishna. And two, this is what the mantra is, huh? Tat Pave Chatmika, the mood of an amorous accomplice. accomplice. Srila Rupa Goswami says, Tat Pave Chatmika Tasam Bhava Maturiya Kamita. Wonderful explanation. The devotional attitude of wanting only to assist Sri Rata in meeting with Krishna and in enjoying pastimes with him and only to relish the sweetness of these pastimes rather than to enjoy with Krishna personally is called Tat Pavej Chatmika. This line makes it slowly. Yes. This line. Explain or read? Read. Okay. Read. Yes, I read. The devotional attitude, wanting only to assist Sri Ratha in meeting with Sri mm. Krishna and enjoying amorous pastimes with him, and second, only to relish the sweetness of these pastimes. Mm. Enjoying pastime with him means the sakis do this, but not tad bhave chatmika. We don't do this. The sakis they do this. Why here is mentioned? Radhika. This Manjali means radhika. Ma this means radhika. radhika. She is. She is Ajay. enjoying. I can repeat. The, the English is not very perfect. I would make it a little different. The devotional attitude. Yeah. Of wanting, so now they say, wanting to assist Radha, and the mantras want to assist Radha in two ways. One, in meeting Sri Krishna, and two, two they want to help. This line only, not bring back. This line only. Please, yes. not, then I will confuse. Sambhoga Tikka me, I don't want to listen to this. <laughs> yes, I, I know, I know. So they only want to relish, they only want to relish the sweetness of these pastimes rather than to enjoy with Krishna personally. This is called Tat Bhavev Chatmika. This is what we aspire for. This attitude attracts Radha and Krishna and awakens a causeless, completely sincere and unlimited love for them. So much so that the heroine here, Sri Radhika, becomes dearer to such a devotee than his own life heirs or even life itself. So when we are 
going in this Tad Bhavichatmika mood, Radhika becomes dearer to us than even our own life air. This is very wonderful. Sri Go on. I have a question here. Um, we speak about uh, when we speak about the first attitude, it's with some snare. And uh, the other one is Atik Snare. Babula Shraki. But what is the Shaki of some snare? What is this? This comes now. Baba is explaining in the next in the next word, Baba is explaining. Sri Radha has five kinds of girlfriends. Good have you many times told us this. Five kinds of girlfriends. Sakis are, for instance, Tanishta and Vindya, who are Krishna Snehadika. This is the first. They have more love for Krishna than Radhika. This is Krishna Snehadika. Those are Sakis. Hmm? Priya Sakis and Parama Prashta Sakis are somebody like Kurangakshi and the eight chief Sakis, such as Lalita and Vishaka. They are Sama Sneha. They have equal love for both Radha and Krishna. And now comes the Manjaris. They are called Prana Sakis and Nidya Sakis. Those are the Manjaris who are Radha Snehadika. They love more, they love Radhika more than Krishna. They are called Manjaris. These are the three classes. Krishna Snehadika, more love for Krishna. Sam Snehadika, equal love. And Radha Snehadika, they love rather more than Krishna. And, and these two are Manjaris. Yeah. Radhika Snehadika. Yeah. But if, that, if they have the same love, what is it called in in the expression? Because we have we have one one with this with some snare, some bogic chatmika. Atik snare, which means tatatba vik chatmika. You cannot com no you can you cannot compare this ones. So, um, uh, um, uh, Sambo Chetatmika is not our our goal. It is not the uh, Vaikautya Vaishnava's goal. This is like Lalita and Vishaka who enjoy with Krishna. But the Manjaris. The Manjaris. Was, uh, what uh, Raghunath is trying to ask is some Sneha, those Sakis who love Krishna and Radha equally. Yes. Do they, want, do they want to unite with Krishna other than Sambo Chetatmika? Right. I have no what information. This is not. This is not written there. What is also written there is important. that. What is written there is that the uh, Radhikas Nehadika have no, no uh, uh, inclination to enjoy with Radha and Krishna, and these are the Pranashakis and the Nitya Shakis. They are called Manjaris. This is what matters. I don't know if the seal. Good. If you know if the Sams Sams Nehadika, if they enjoy with Krishna, I don't know. Don't gather in front. <laughs> yes, I don't care. <laughs> I honestly I don't care. Know. I only care about Radha Sneadika. I only one point to Radha. Yes. Yes. I have uh, with a mind to gather more information and so such. I am not interested. Sometimes I see Krishna also. Uh, Baba here says some place Krishna and do strike it disturb me. Radha Rani I know. <laughs> Sorry to say, I'm telling you the, the, the Baba not say this. If you see Bangla, is a is a understanding of the translator, they write Krishna here. 
You see, I did this term is sorry, I'm telling you. So I want to repeat and understand that he's a Lord of Krishna. Lord means my Lord is Swami. Yeah. But he said, Krishna coming is disturbing me. Sorry to say, I'm telling you. Yeah, so, I understand. I understand. I understand. We should this have Papa so rich in our words. Uh, yeah. Krishna is not qualified to give Sarup even. Mm. He gave me the soul and we are so much uh, conditioned and marginal and ping-pong with this. An independent nature, this earth is mercy. <laughs> Radhika mercy. <laughs> If we be independent, my ping pong and condition, this is the mercy of Krishna, right? My Radhika want to make it normal to me to give Ardhati. That is Radha giving. When Radha gave why Krishna is how oh, his name is coming, I don't understand. <laughs> he was said, sorry to say. And when Krishna, one day, it comes to me that Krishna attract with Radha, love, na? When super soul attract with Radha, love, love, and we are the part and parcel of the soul. Our nature is also to attract. Because the super soul can attract, soul can be also attract. It's a nature. So coming from the Krishna. So how we can be out of that? Only thing we forget, the feeling by the conditioned nature and living with the condition and marginal nature. Sense that make me condition and marginal, so we forget the feelings. We start thinking that I am totally cup. No feeling. Cup has no feeling. No? So I draw block my feeling because to know that I am material. But honestly, we are not material. We are living so <laughs> And we got the mercy of Radharani. Mercy of Radharani to be in feelings. Go on. Yeah, yeah. I'm nearly. F <laughs> what happened? <laughs> the bodies consist of nothing but devotional service. And although wow, that. and although they are in the class of sakis, they are mostly surrendered to assist the intimate Nikuncha pastimes of Sri Sri Rata Mohan due to their fixation. Yeah. In a service attitude. Wow. The sweet, relishable Raganuga Bhajan of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas consists of allegiance to them. And then Baba is quoting the Prema Bhakti Chandrika verses. <laughs> No, go on, go on, not read Bhagavad Gita. Okay. Blissfully render devotional service with Sri Rupa Manjari, Sri Rati Manjari, Lavanga Manjari, Manchulali Manjari, Sri Rasa Manjari, Kasturika, and others. I will follow in their footsteps and render yeah. loving devotional service. Simply on their hints, I will understand what is my duty. Wow. Because of Tat Pavichatmika. 
Yeah. I will always. Huh? Yeah, very nice. I will I will always be passionately absorbed in Radha and Krishna's mm. forms and qualities while I reside amongst them. When Radha and Krishna are enjoying in Raja, surrounded by their girlfriends, I will understand the time for service in Rasika Bliss. When will I get a hint from these girlfriends to wave a whisk fan and place better leaves in their moon-like faces? I constantly think of the service of their lotus feet. And I will always stay there in great devotional attachment. <laughs> Whatever I think of during my spiritual practice, this I will attain in my Sita Deha. These are the ways of the path of Raga, Prema Bhakti Chantrika. Yeah. Yeah, that is in Go on. <laughs> After taking shelter of the lotus feet of Shri Shri, Shri Guru, Gautya Vaishnava Sadakas get acquainted with their own Sita Deha, Manjai Deha. In the process called Shri Guru Sita Pranali. In the opinion of Sri Jiva Goswami, this Sita body, this Sita Deha, is one of the countless spiritual bodies present in the spiritual sky that are suitable for serving the Lord. On the strength of his meditation, Sri Gurudev is aware which one of these countless spiritual bodies will be accepted by the Lord and he points out that body to the Sadaka. This is not anyone's speculation. To consider the Siddhadeya of the Sadaka which automatically arises within the pure heart of Sri Gurudev, who is the compact embodiment of Krishna's compassion, steeped in the great power of Krishna, and which spontaneously arises within his meditation, one who considers this Siddha Deya as imaginary or false is practicing sheer atheism and it is a great harmful offense to Bhakti. One thing I want to say in this is not we every one day we will die. What will go out from this body? Those will go out. What happened is so. What happened to this so? If you don't know the place to go, you move out like a ghost. Is a very Puran, you can see that. What Gurudev gave Masi, mm -hmm. he fixed the soul in the form of Radha Dasi. So when he goes out from this soul, from the body, 
he has a place to go. Yeah. Now I realize this. If he is no, a person not want to be a fantastic, but fantastic atma, when a ghost, or you know where, what is the name of this? No? Fantastic. Put Buddha, or Buddha. Buddha in Hindi, I say, if somebody not decide to be a ghost or moving and disturbing to the spirit, <laughs> then he has to be a spirit. Yes. After living body. And if he has a fixed his soul, that he is a Radha Dasi. Then he now becomes a ghost. He knows his place. That who is he? And not even dying. Before dying, I know, and I am practicing that. So anything is important in life to know my sarup, my identification. And this is the great mercy we receive from my spiritual master that he fixed my soul where to go and where is your home to go. So soul not, not become ghost and not go to take the body of the pig. and suffer after that. How great will they give in our life that He fixed me in living in this body what you are? It's not a mercy. Actually, Guru Dev, when we don't know that we are soul, we in this life living like this. Uh, we will become complete. No, no, no. I only want to mention if we are not aware. Very good. In this life, we are not. We are a soul. Then we are living now like this. Mm. You see, what will happen after leaving the body? Soul is confused, no? Living for nothing, for little sense enjoyment. It's totally material. <laughs> Funny things we are doing. What is not will go in my, <laughs> my with me. They say there is one cloth when the dead body happens. They, they give the different clothes that in Hindi they say kafan. That cloth name is kafan. Then they say kafan has no pocket that you can bring anything. What for? What for I'm doing? So good. In Germany, the same. In Germany, the same saying is there. Das letzte Hemd hat keine Taschen. The last, the last T-shirt has no, has no bags, pockets. You see, and in India they say, kafan has no pocket. That last cloth is especially they sell in the shop, and all they open and they put that, and there is no pocket there. And what we are want to do to become ghost? And if I know in my body who I am, and I practice this, I will become. When I will leave this body, I am there, not uh, like a ghost. I am phantasm. Uh, uh, phanta. 
Fantasmi. Fantasmi. I don't know which word that said this. Oh, Gurudev. Gurudev. Ghost is okay. And another word for ghost is phantom. But it's both fine. You can say ghost. It's okay. It's completely the same. 100% you believe. Why they do sarad? 13 days? In India, you will not do that. They are all most suffering there. Because there's nobody bother. Here we do 13 days only for that soul. Praying for that soul. And nobody comes to drink Amrita that nobody will die. That is the only sure that we have to die. And we, what a mercy of the Guru Dev. He gave me mercy that he identified me, he see me. And he say, you are this. Do this and practice that he recognize that at the time of death, that you are this, that you go with this mood. Is not mercy. Preva Priya, you see that, you understand. Understand or not? German, I don't know. I you understand know. very good. Thank okay. you. Thank you. This is the great mass. Go on, please. It's just come in realization, I share it. The practitioner must identify himself. Why with this? Uh, oh, you know, the practitioner, why the name practice? I never practice, so practice nervous, practice this. <laughs> practice nervous, I never do this. Practice now, be practice now. Fix to yourself. Why not? I will fix myself. Why I bother for my children to do for me? Practice now, we have to be practice. Nobody will do, I say you, 100%. The sand is in Europe, funeral home. <laughs> My God. What is not left, it will happen in funeral home in seven days or five days. We will move five days near my body, my so ghost will move. Where is my body? Where is my body? Where is my body? You have a body. Practice now. You practice that you have a body. You are why you bother for this material body? What a mercy! Go on. The practitioner must identify himself with this spiritual body and meditate on it. Baye antara ihara dui to sadhana. Mahaya sadaka deha. Kore Shravana Ketana Mane Nicha Sita Deha Koriya Bhavana Ratri Tina Kore Brache Krishna Rasevana Chaitanya Chaitamrita. There are two, two kinds of sadhana devotional practice, external and internal. That I want to say. Go on. Externally, 
within the sadaka deha, the crow's physical body, one practices shravana kirtanam, hearing and chanting the glories of Krishna. And internally, mentally, one meditates on one's own sita deha, spiritual body, in which one serves the divine couple and bracha day and night. Yeah. In the Raga Nuga. I decide in this life what is my goal. I decide that this is my Siddha Deha. This and Radha Rani is my goal with Krishna. That I decide now. And I will do for that. And I will take that, not ghost body, my spiritual body, to go back to home. My place, my home. My hometown. I know my place. Understand? Yeah. <coughs> not suffering for 200 years as a ghost, or 1,000 years, without body. I have a body. I'm living this body with my spiritual body, and I know where to go. I do practice for that. What a mercy the spiritual master gave. Go on. Yeah, go on. Yes, in the Raganuga practice of the most intimate feelings of the manjaris, there are two flawless ways of attaining the loving service of Sri Sri Radha Mohan. One is externally, which means that in one's material body, mm. one hears, chants, worships the deity and offers prayers and so forth in a way which is not unfavorable to one's own desired devotional feelings. Yeah. Oh. The other type of practice is internal. Yeah. One, is, one establishes yeah. one establishes one's self-esteem, Avesh, in the spiritual body, which is mm. given by Sri Guru, and with mm. it mentally meditates on its loving service in the time framework of Sri Sri Radha Krishna's eternal eightfold transcendental daily pastimes. Yeah, oh, Astyam Vida. The main internal practice of the practitioner is, according to his qualification, to mentally serve mm -hmm. Sri Sri Radha Mohan with their girlfriends and to remember their forms, attributes, and pastimes along the way. While the practitioner remembers the forms, attributes, and pastimes of Sri Sri Radha Mohan and thus relishes their sweetness within this internal practice, he should take very much care that this does not become a mechanical practice. He should take great care that there is a gradual increase of eagerness for the attainment of the direct service of the Lord upon whom he meditates. This is the highest, highest service 
I see my Gurudev, Sri Sri Radha Govind Das Bhavaji is doing this. Bhajan. 24-7 he is sitting and doing Bhajan and meditating. And I see Anandas Bhavaji also hiding. This is the meaning of real bhajan to get the siddha they have. And they live in this body or go out from this body, no meaning to that. They are always living divinely. But if I cannot do, but when we practice spiritually, to see the Deha, spiritual body, that is also very perfect practice. This practice will not make us ghost. We not go to cross the goal to 500 years to suffer for nothing. And my Gaurachandra say, also, I am not in the material body behaving like a ghost. That I don't know that soul is not existing. It's also a ghost. Like a robot. Robot. <laughs> Doing for nothing. A practitioner who has attained the stage of Rati will spontaneously perceive his spiritual body within himself. You see, Rati Why? is important. Yes. When Rati will come, his spiritual body will happen. Rati for a spiritual body means Rati for a spiritual body to divine service. Without a spiritual body, I cannot serve Radhika. I can serve Krishna with my material body to become religious, but I cannot serve my Swami without a spiritual body. And a spiritual body is my prakit, prakiti deha is my natural body. And this is the blessing by the spiritual master we got to receive it. Because Prasamni will not save me directly, Samni give to her Dasi and Dasi as a messenger she gives her. More is there? <laughs> My as, as, as you like, Gurudev. It's so high subject. Yeah. <laughs> if I understand this, nothing to more to understand. <coughs> right, my dear brother. Understand means accept what the practice is understand. And when you will practice, realization will happen. Maybe one little more, Gurudev, the next one, two, two, three sentence. Wow. This is so I like this very much. Um, a practitioner who has attained the stage of Rati 
he will spontaneously perceive his spiritual body, while the practitioner who did not attain rati yet, he will intently perform mental service within his mentally conceived spiritual body. As the dirt of material desires is removed from the practitioner's heart through this external practice of hearing, chanting, etc. Accordingly, this is very nice, I like this now. Accordingly, he perceives his spiritual body first indistinctly, then a little more clearly, and then very clearly, and accomplishes the beauty of his mental service. I like this very much. Yeah. So it comes in stages, Baba says. And clearly may mentioned in Radha Dhatya that this line, that they can keep it fighting, that they can practice this. This line is very important. I will do. <laughs>